How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to make this custom file upload button using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We can actually use this, we'll press choose file, select one, and it comes up with the file name also. And you can of course uh, customize this, change the colors, change the font, whatever you like. Um, it's just done through CSS. So let's get right into it. We can start with a basic HTML file. Inside body, we need three elements. The first one being a normal file upload button. So we can type in input type file and give it an ID of real file. All right. Next, we need two more elements. The first one being the custom button itself and second being a place to store the file name once a file was chosen. So we can use the button tag for this give it a type of button and an ID custom button alright for the text on the button I'm just gonna type in choose a file alright now for the file name span you can use span give it an ID of custom text inside here uh, for now we'll just say no file chosen yet okay let's have a look we'll refresh we have the normal file upload button as well as our custom button and our custom place to hold the file name once a file is chosen. Alright, so how it's going to work is that when this button is pressed, this will be triggered. So using JavaScript, we're essentially going to virtually press this button when this button is pressed. But first, we'll make it look nice. Alright. So, I'm going to make a new style tag right up here and define a set of rules for the button and the custom text. The first one for the button. So, we'll target the custom button ID, add some padding, give it a text color of white, a background color of that nice green. I'll just copy and paste this. There we are a border of one pixel and black a decent border radius and then the uh, the default you know uh, pointer cursor when you hover over it speaking of that when you hover over the button I'm just going to change the background color to something a bit lighter a lighter green and now for the custom text, we just have a margin left of 10 pixels, a font family of sans serif, and a light grey colour. Alright, let's refresh. Alright, so green button and grey text. Now before we do JavaScript, we need to first hide the default file input. So we can use the hidden attribute with a value of hidden to do this. We'll now refresh and that goes away. So now onto the JavaScript. We'll first start by defining a script tag on the bottom and having three constant variables up top. The first being this element, second being this element and last being this element. So we'll start off. So const uh, real file button equals document get element by ID and real file. And we'll do the same thing for these two elements right here. So we'll copy and paste this. Okay, we'll do custom button for that one. Custom text for this one. And the same up here custom button and custom text. So now we have references to those three elements. We can now add the event listener for this button right here. So when this gets clicked on, the real button gets clicked on. All right, so we can type in custom button dot add event listener, the click event. Now inside here, will be everything that happens 
when that button gets clicked on. So we can actually type in real file button dot click and that will virtually click on this button right here which is hidden. Alright let's give it a go. We'll refresh, press on it and we see we get the dialog box. Alright cool. Next we need to display the file name in the custom text span. So we're gonna write down real file button. So this one right here. When the value of it changes, so the change event basically says when the value of this changes then do something. So we'll pass in a function. Alright. So the value changes of this one when you choose a file. And that value is the path to the chosen file. So we use an if statement and we can say if the real file button has a value, so if basically if a file is chosen, then we want to set the value of the custom texts to the same value. So real file button dot value. Alright. Otherwise we'll display this same message. So custom text dot inner html equals no file chosen yet all right let's see how this goes refresh choose a file choose one press open and we get this c fake path index so basically what happens is depending on your browser they're going to have different file names or different file paths for the files so what we need to do is actually extract the file name itself and only the file name. And we can do this using regex. So back to that if statement, instead of putting in um, the value of the file upload button, we need to instead use the match method of string and pass in a regex. I'm going to copy and paste this, but it is inside the description. So make sure to check that out. So this regex right here will basically extract the file name from that path and you can find the file name in the first element of the returned array because there's a group right here. Alright, we'll try again. Choose a file, index, press open and we get index.html, all nice and clean. And this should work on both Linux and Windows, um, but it might not work for all your files, such as when you're using ampersands or any special characters, it might not work. Uh, but this does work for most files. Alright, so that is how you make a custom file upload button in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Thank you for watching. See you later.